Well, hello there, YouTube. It's a far cry than what it looked like at the start of yesterday's vlog, isn't it? Welcome to a 93 degree Saturday, the 26th of August. She's uh, she's pretty warm out here at 93, but there's a little breeze. That, that helps a whole bunch. So when the Road King was going to be the... The main vehicle or the vehicle I was going to take on the Utah Colorado trip, I ordered or was had Kelly order me some hand guards. It's really popular with guys that put you know tall bars on their uh, street glides or road glide because now your your hands are not protected anymore behind the fairing. Anyway, so I got those hand guards and uh, so they come in. Kelly goes, "That's pretty cool. I need those on mine." For the winter months and i go yeah so there's one kit for the road king there's another kit for uh for flirty basically what fits for Flir flirty is a 21 and newer road king but uh anyway thought i'd uh, throw the hand guards on on kelly's um bike right quick to see how this all works out you guys are so quiet out here air conditioning hasn't even kicked on out here today yet even though it's 93 to, uh, there's why it's still 69 in here. 69, he usually kicks in. Oh, I got it set for like 71, 72. But anyway, here's the hydraulic kit. And as you can see, it's using, uh, actually pointing out the uh, FL HR for Kelly's kit. It's weird as, that's a newer number than the hydraulic one, but I think this also fits other clutched systems. You know, Harley, they don't, they don't change a whole lot that doesn't need to be changed. It's very nice. And this longer arm, that's the one that goes on the cable clutch. And then they both, both mine and hers, has the short one for the hydraulic brake. your destructions let me just throw that down here for a second you know obviously there's cutting grooves where they're smoothing this thing out well they must have got I don't know when they're polishing that or something must have got it into the grooves and if you look carefully they have gone along get my finger here so I'll focus on it they've gone along with a sharpie that's like the cheesiest thing you can do, like in a motorcycle shop. You nick something and try to hide the nick you put in it with a Sharpie. Well, it's all over. I'll try to clean that off somehow. I'm sure it'll wear off over time, but how cheesy is that? It's probably got white polish stuck in the in the grooves from when they, you know, fine-tuning the thing. But anyway, you gotta take these things apart. That's pretty self-explanatory, even the, the instructions. Pretty detailed how it all goes together. Pretty fancy. Cool beans. You just use the mirror to hold it down. My my little concern is 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 that bracket going to mark the the stock housing here? You see, this is why the clutch side is much longer because it's got a long throw to get to that. But it's pretty straightforward. They work good. I mean, even these little tiny hand guards on this thing, as small as they are, do a surprisingly good job. Oh, the bugs on that thing already. So, yeah, hand guards. I've had those soft ones and stuff on dirt bikes and I ride in the winter and stuff like that. They work really, really well. My only concern is the time of year it is that uh, may create some heat. But these little metal end caps, they are grooved or keyed so you don't have to hold them with anything when you put the nuts on the other side. Let me just pop one of these things out right quick and... And start it, and I'll show you what I mean. Throw a little light on it so you can see 
But if you notice, these things are keyed. See the shape? And then the little stud that comes through on the outside is also keyed. So when those things lock in, you can tighten the nut correctly. There goes the air conditioner. Lost track. Oh, they don't come with the ru rubber inserts in there, so you have to have to install those first. Don't lose your little plastic washers. All right, I'm just gonna assemble these right quick. Should be simple, simple as heck. You just put the rubber grommets in there and it pins through, line the keys up, tighten the thing down. Make sure you have your, your up and down right on your on your piece there. A little dab of Loctite on there. Be careful, Loctite has CA in it most of the time and don't get it on this hard plastic, keep it clear. So there's the bracket and it will go under under the mirror like that. Let's, uh, let's get one on, see what it looks like. What do you think of that? Look at that black, man. That just fits that vivid black of that Harley like a T. So I gave her a slight angle back, but you want to have plenty of room so there's no chance of interference with your, with your phalanges up there. And then because I'm overly a retentive the mirrors have to be absolutely exact easiest way to do that run a ruler on them when they're flat on both sides you got them exact <laughs> i know that's completely unnecessary but uh you haven't met me i gotta wash all my fingerprints off of them heck yeah those will do good too like that Oh man, yeah. Super simple to install. A little pricey. Their retail is 80 bucks. And uh, of course, to get them at employee costs, which you're not saving a whole bunch. Like I, It's not like the old days. There used to be a crazy markup. Things get more expensive and the, the profit margin gets less and less and less. Same with the bikes. But yep, those will work. Those that work great. That will cut some wind off off of her little phalanges. Oh, look at that! It's just perfectly lined with her hand. <laughs> you you got to be realistic here, though. Wind's still gonna you know tumble over those things, but the blunt of it and what's happened to her and it's whacked her a good one, and because of them big old wheels and hardly no fender back there she's got me a couple of times just whack, right in a right in a knuckle or a finger but uh that'll help too bugs and stuff like that she's had bees hit her and stuff like that and her hands are i'm used to getting wrapped in the knuckles or something <laughs> whether i do it to myself or get it off a of road debris but it helps a lot with that but it breaks that wind up if you can break that wind up on the outside of your hand, then the grips on the inside of your hand, the heated grips, that is, can do their magic. And there you are. That's pretty cool. I won't believe the ridiculous amount of time I'll spend on something to make sure that the angles <laughs> and everything are right. Drives Kelly absolutely nuts when I do that. She goes, it's fine. She hasn't even seen these yet. There they are. That'll keep the little woman's phalanges all nice and it'll help keep them a little warmer in the winter and protected at all times. That's pretty cool. And with her black bike, it just, they just almost don't even look like they're there. So let's grab the little woman. Whatever major project she's in the middle of. See what she thinks of this. It's mama approved. Yeah, those are going to work out nice. She goes, I thought they were going to be really, really ugly. She I goes, did. they're not at all. <laughs> I did. I thought they were going to be horrid. And I'm well, 
<laughs> Those are nice. They fit really good. Yeah. They don't stick out bang bang. Yeah, especially when you're, you know, the, you're most likely to see it when yeah. somebody's yeah. coming at you or something like that, and and they just kind of just blend in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very cool. We're gonna have to check them out. That's right. Yes. So I got flirty all locked up. So I thought I'd put them on the Road King. I just want to show you something. The Sharpie marks, this is what they were hiding. And I knew that's what they were hiding. It's tooling marks in them. Well, I'll put something on there to to disguise them. But that's way better than a Sharpie going around there. That is, that's tacky. Anyway, let's throw these on Road King and see what this looks like. They're probably going to stick out a little bit better with the... You know, white tank and bags and stuff, but um, what people think of uh, what I do, my colors and my choice of motorcycles, I don't really care because it was my choice, not theirs. Their opinion doesn't matter. Remember that if you do something. Like my opinions of things that people do, the spiders and BMWs and stuff like that, that's just my opinion. That's not their opinion. It's a uh, who's riding it and who enjoys it and likes it. That's what matters. Remember that. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to old codgers like me. <laughs> All right. There's the Road King guards set up. As you can see, they're both shorts, short ends because they're uh, going on both sides are hydraulic. So let's, uh, let's get them installed and see what they look like. Just simply pull your mirror out, slide the mirror through the hole, tighten it down, make sure everything's straight, like super straight, <laughs> and uh, you're golden from there. See how these look on the Road King. This is the one I'm worried about, but I was going to put these on the Road King anyway. I just, whether I like them or not, I'd take them off after the trip. But um, unfortunately, the Road King's not going on this trip. But we'll. Uh, keep going with the prepping because we'll go be going on trip sooner or later they definitely stick out a little more against with the mostly white background but they get the trick done get myself on this thing and I stand it up without hitting the yeah there we are there's your view I'm going down the road I have my levers pointing down a little bit more so the the guard but still the guard is going to work I like that neutral you know the old karate chop thing just lay your arm so it's a natural flow and it lays on there and that's what it does with Kelly because the bars are kind of high to her so you'll see her levers are more of an upright but that that fits her and there we are <laughs> yeah, that'll that'll dust off some some of the debris hitting you. That'll work. Them long, long hauls. Heck yeah, that'll just deflect that wind just right over you. Not a hundred percent. You're still gonna get the buffeting and stuff from it. That's unavoidable. But just like hand guards on this and. Other things I've had, I don't have, yeah, there's the Himalayan. They don't even cover the front, front part of your hand, and they work phenomenally well. And, um, yeah, it's great. Bugs and stuff don't hit your hands. Nothing's worse than, do I have any on here? Is when a bug hits the clutch lever, and you got your fingerless gloves on, and you're like, ew, you're on the sticky bug stuff. <laughs> I get that on the iron, the DR, the slim, and this. I hate hate that for, for the rest of the ride. You know, you got to get somewhere and wash your hands to get the and your lever to get the the bug gunge off of you. If you see, I always try to do that in an even thing so I can see the lever in front of the camera. Always have your levers unless you've got some kind of thing that. One hand does a completely different thing. 
Always have your levers at the same place. I do I set every bike exactly the same. And it's just that natural from from the bars and just lift up. Just a nice flat flow. And that's where you got the best best grip on everything. You see people with the levers up in the air. That doesn't work. You're not in control with that. You might be short enough, you know, stature that that's normal for your hands, you know, to the bars. But I see people like mine are right, and but you'll see people go like this. It's the craziest thing you ever see. And if you notice, look at every one of the bikes I ride, all the levers are drooped in a normal fit that fits me. Every one. The Harley, the GT, the DR, the Himalayans. I even set the Grom that way, and Kelly hasn't. It seems to fit her with these with these bars, you know. So we're both riding the same bike. But see how these things are really open on the inside, and the wind comes through. There you go over here. This one. This is easier to see. You see, when your hands are on this thing, you're kind of towards the inside of that thing, and even though all that is, you know, thin and open, you're absolutely protected. These things work crazy well. But um, in the DR, it's got its little flip flaps. There's no heated grips on this thing. And man, I ride that thing in the wintertime. Seems like I ride it more when it's freezing cold than when it's hot. Absolutely work perfect. They do their job. So there we are. Iron old roadie road king. I was going to do this specifically to this one for the trip. Keep all the bugs, rain, debris over the long haul. But sadly, it won't be this year. But hope you like them. If you don't, keep it to yourself or leave it in the comment. I don't care. <laughs> if it's nasty, I'll delete it. If you, I mean, you can have constructive criticism without being nasty. But there we are. If you have never ridden with these, don't have an opinion. Until you ride with some hand guards, then you can tell me. It makes all the difference in the world, especially on a long haul, pouring down rain, or super cold out. You'll be glad they're there. Well, hello there, you two. Man, that's a, a bit of a warm day today. It wasn't bad. No. The breeze was out. I did a bunch of stuff in the garage, then air conditioner. She did a bunch of stuff on the porch out in the heat. It's got, it got 901 projects going on. I know. She's I'm enjoying good. herself, and yes. that's what's important. She's having fun. Always have lots of projects. Yeah. She comes up with all these crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I ended up making a whole vlog, putting on some hand guards. But that's okay. Yeah. That was the... That was the highlight of the day. <laughs> the rest well, of it was goofing around, just thinking of stuff I need to get ready and stuff for the for the trip. God, that's only just a few weeks away. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Hope the weather holds out. But uh, anyway, I guess on that, we're going to roll out. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.